it has been a very, very busy and productive day. So it's almost dark. I've got just enough time to get this done. Just got the podcast published. The latest episode is out now. Um, so I wanted to try to get out here and knock this out real quick. I wasn't exactly sure what I would speak on today. I always go back to my resources and my books to go see what kind of pricks my interest. And in an effort to try to, everything I've talked about up to this point really hasn't necessarily been very much business related. It's a lot of it's personal development stuff, a lot of it's uh, best practices, if you will. But I also wanted to make sure that I'm giving value uh, on a, on a, from a business perspective as well. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about, if you saw the title of the video, it's Why Leaders Eat Last. And that brings me to my book for today, and it's Simon Sinek, Leaders Eat Last. Uh, he's also wrote another really good book, Start With Why. Um, I would start with that one first if you haven't read any of his work, uh, this, and then go on to this one. But um, the book is called Leaders Eat Last, and the podcast that I want to promote is also, or it's called um, Entree Leadership. It's Dave Ramsey. Uh, he's a personal finance guy, if you're not familiar with him. Uh, he, he's really more of a traditional radio show, but I believe he's on podcast formats now as well. Hey. But um, So check him out, Dave Ramsey, Entree Leadership, if you want to learn just some basic uh, finance stuff or if you want to learn more about the business of being an, a leader or an entrepreneur. Um, those both kind of fall into the same category. Um, and they really apply to this book, What well, Leaders Eat Last. The idea behind that is you're the last, as a leader or as an entrepreneur, as the business owner, you're the last guy to get fed. You're the last guy to get paid. Um, everybody else has to come first. All your employees, their paychecks, their families, they all have to be taken care of before you get to pay yourself, before you get to eat. It's the same kind of concept as a uh, a parent feeding their kids first before they get into before they sit down to have their own meal um, but with in, in that same vein I want to talk about leadership so that's going to be a lot of the focus this week so talking about leadership and how you can be an effective leader and why they eat last the best thing that I can tell you about being a leader is knowing your people getting to know your people knowing what their wants are, what their desires are, what their long-term plans are, what, what's going on with their families. Knowing your people individually lets them know that you care. And if you, they know that you care, then they'll be willing to work for you. They'll be willing to stick their neck out for you. They'll be willing to go to bat for you. They will be willing to put in more effort towards for your company. Um, if you don't care about your employees, if you don't show a vested interest in them, they're not going to care. They're not going to be engaged. Um, one of the things that I did, tried to do, whether I was working at UPS on the small sort with a bunch of hourly employees or um, doing custom molding in a high-end home with subcontractors, no matter what my job was, one of the things I always tried to make sure to do was know my people, know where, and specifically know what it is that they want to do, know what their long-term goals are. If I, I, went, I worked with one lady who ultimately wanted to be an RN. She, she was working in facilities, but she had a desire to become a registered nurse. Nothing to do with what she was doing at the time, but knowing that and encouraging her over time, we were able to build a strong relationship, and that became a topic of conversation for us and a topic of um, commonality, is how she was moving along in that, uh, towards getting that degree and towards doing that, um, taking that next step in her life. Most of the people that come to work for you will not continue to work for you. They will have bigger plans. They will move on at some point. So anytime that you can help facilitate that, anytime that you can be a cheerleader to help get them towards that goal, uh, they're going to be more committed to you and they're going to have a, you're going to have a stronger relationship with them. So that was one of the goals that I always tried to do is know where my people wanted to ultimately end up and then do anything that I could to help them get there. Um, that's the definition of a true leader. If you hang on to somebody or you don't want to see them succeed because of your own selfish needs and because they're such a great employee, then you're doing them a disservice. And ultimately, they're going to lose respect for you and they're not going to continue to put forth that great effort. So 
know your people, know their families, know what's going on in their lives, and have a vested interest in them. If you have a vested interest in them, then they will have a vested interest in you and your company. Um, but until you do that, they will not. So that's my speech for today. Uh, like I said, the rest of this week, we'll try to keep it in a business realm. And then once we get through some of that, at some point I'm gonna try to go through each one of the eight keys to great. I'm finding that they're pretty lengthy, so trying to consolidate or condense the information into short little five to 10 minute increments is what I'm working on. So that's a long-term plan. But in the meantime, we'll try to stick with some business stuff for the rest of this week. So hope you guys are having a great week. Hope you guys are getting out and enjoying the nice, beautiful weather. And it looks like COVID-19 is starting to wind down. Looks like we're all ready to start moving on. Even places like New York starting to open up, getting things back to normal. Really excited to see that. So get out there, enjoy it, man. Have a great week and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Oh, don't forget, uh, eightkeystogreat.net, latest episode is, <laughs> I just published it, you think I would be able to remember it. Um, demolition time. How to, demo how to demolish old habits how to get a clean foundation and a, and a clean slate to prepare to get to work. So hopefully you guys will get a chance to check out that episode. It's available now on all platforms and of course, 8 All right, there we go. See you tomorrow. Bye.